Today we shall uh, see lecture three. In the lecture three is of the learning objectives. At the end of this lecture, a participant will try to understand the following. We got two systems, AC and DC. DC system has only one power, that is voltage into current is of power. You can take it as actual power or uh, the maximum power, whatever it is available. That power is measured in terms of watts. But the AC system, we have got uh, three powers. One is known as apparent power, active power, and reactive power. Apparent power means the maximum available power or the designed power. But in the AC system, the power what we are utilizing is only a portion of the maximum power. Part of the power is not getting utilized. So the active power or actual power utilization is less than the apparent power. This apparent power, we normally uh, measure it in uh, terms of uh, kilo volt amperes, VA, but KVA we mention. Active power means actually whatever we are consuming that is measured in kilowatts. The balance is called a reactive power that we will see what are the things. We will just uh, see the... So, this apparent power is uh, maximum power or designed power expressed in KVA. Active power is in kilowatts. Reactive power is a phase or difference of this uh, apparent power and active power represented as a KVAR or reactive power. So the reactive power is nothing but square root of apparent power squared minus active power squared. KVA squared minus kilowatt squared. In AC systems, we got three types of loads. DC, we got only one type of load that is called a resistive load. The power is V into I, so much of watts or kilowatts. AC system, in the resistive load, we say current and voltage, they are in phase. The current vector and voltage vector they say they are in phase or we say they are in line. So power measured in the resistive component is nothing but V into I. That is a voltage into component of current in line with the voltage. So V into I is called a watts. This is equal to the same thing like an apparent power also. Resistive load, there is no power factor. In uh, reactive load, we have got two types of reactive loads. One is called a lagging load. Motors, transformers, tube lights, coils. Whatever we have an inductive load is called a, a single, one of the reactive loads. In this inductive load, the current lags the voltage. You see the voltage vector is shown horizontal with x-axis. The current is OB, shown by the vector OB or phasor OB. It lags behind the voltage by an angle phi, what we call phase angle. So when you want to measure the power in this circuit, Basic thing is voltage into component of current in line with the voltage or in phase with the voltage. But here the component of current is at an angle lagging behind the voltage. So we have to resolve this to the voltage line or voltage base. So the vector OB is resolved. When it is resolved, it becomes OA. So the power here is the voltage into the component of current in phase of the voltage, that is OA vector. What is OA? When you are resolving OB to OA, it becomes OB cos phi or it is I cos phi. 
OB is a magnitude of current I. So OB cos A becomes I cos Y. So here the power becomes V into I cos Y. This we call active power or actually consumed or actually utilized power. Remember this cos Y factor. By trigonometrical this thing, we know that cos y varies from 0 to 1. Cos 0 is equal to 1, cos 90 is 0. Now we have resolved into x axis. So the i cos y will be definitely less than i because cos y varies from 0 to 1. So the power is V into I cos Y. So V into I cos Y is always less than V into I. The V into I is called the apparent power or KVA. V into I cos Y is the kilowatt. So kindly understand the kilowatt is less than KVA. Then you can resolve the current into x-axis, same thing can be resolved into y-axis also. When you resolve into y-axis, the current becomes i sin phi, the component becomes i sin phi. So V into i sin phi, we call it as a reactive power, expressed in KVA or kilovolt ampere reactive. This particular component is purely reactive and does not contribute to any actual work or actual power. If it is a pure inductive circuit, where normally inductance is made of a coil, coil always has got a natural resistance. So, otherwise, if you say it's a pure inductive, the current will lag 90 degrees, then there is a active power will be zero. But pure uh, inductance is not possible. On board the ship, we have got the motors transformers. They always pose a resistance. So there is a component called active power involved. Same thing, capacitive load. The current leads the voltage. Again, when you want to measure the power, we have to resolve this current component to x-axis. So, this uh, current becomes I cos phi. Again, V into I cos phi is the active power or actual power. And the V into I sin phi will be your reactive power. In pure capacitive circuit, active power will be zero. So, when you want to use a word, the cos phi factor is coming in. Because we are resolving the component into the voltage phase or voltage line. So, this cos phi, we term it as a power factor, which is nothing but the active power by apparent power. The apparent power is V into I, so much of KVA. Active power is V into I cos phi, so much of kilowatts. Reactive power is V into I sin phi, KVA R. KVA reactive. So power factor is nothing but active power by apparent power. VI cos phi by VI, that's cos phi. So uh, in on board the ship, remember the alternators and transformers are always rated in KVA or in apparent power. Mainly because we do not know what is the type of connected load and what is its rating, etc. So the power factor is not known. So whenever the design is made of alternator or transformer, they make it for the maximum power. And then they insist the consumer or the customer to operate such a way that the power factor does not vary beyond 0.8. Maximum power factor we normally operate is between 0.8 and 1. When it goes below 0.8, the current drawn will be more. The motor and transformers will be drawing excess current. So the standard practice is that suppose I design a 2000 KVA alternator 
I tell my customer, kindly operate the alternator, the load connected not to exceed 1,600 kilowatt. Assuming the power factor is 0.8. Repeat power factor is active power by apparent power. Some people, they are uh, used to represent as R by Z. That is only for the numerical purposes. But actually, the power factor is active power by apparent power. Reactive power is not available for useful work. But it is utilized for maintaining the magnetic circuit. Helps in maintaining voltage levels. So, an alternator excitation is controlled by reactive power or KVAR. Your AVR is connected into the reactive power circuit. Thank you very much for listening. We will continue lecture 4 later. We talk about hazards of electricity. Thank you.